testing that I'm beta testing for you. Yeah. It's like if you want me to if you want me to beta test it for me, then you send me one for a discounter for free. I'll beta test it for you, you know, and then I won't expect it to work. But you know, I expect it that I'll be I'll be wanting to you help you debug it. But don't ask me for a premium price, you know, for anything or any tech, and then expect me to tell you that it needs to be fixed because. That's endless frustration for the customers, the clients, the end users, always, you know. I mean, nobody wants to be treated like that, and, and yet, the, the you know, the, the, especially the larger, you know, uh, tech companies don't seem to have a big problem with rushing things to market to make, uh, you know, to make money to pump up their stock price. But, you know, who gets screwed in the end is, um, is the customers many times. So I'm just saying, tech companies... Make your shit work, you know, before you send it to us. I'm just like, make it work before uh, before you ask us to beta test it. Well, you, that's not cool. That is not fair. No, us. it is not. And you know, another thing, just off the subject here of horror for a yeah. second. You know, last week I broke it on my show uh, that Master Chart, uh, MasterCard, it, you yeah. know, they sold all their customers out. I don't know if you have a MasterCard. I actually... Cut mine up after I called them up and told them what I thought about them. Master, Did you? What, what happened with them? I actually do have a MasterCard. Well, you know, every place you've used that card, you know, from food mm-hmm. to hotels to online shopping, they sold mm-hmm. every client information to Google. They sold it to Google? Huh? They sold it to Google for a lot of money. So now Google got all this information from all the card holders that use MasterCard. So they know where everybody's been shopping, how much money they spend on their card a year. All that information was sold off to Google. Hmm. Now that's scary. Well, I mean, you have to consider that, that any and all of the, you know, search engines you know, are subject to, to that anyway. I mean, there, you know, anybody that has that information about, you know, they can, you can trace back any, any purchase, any online activity uh, that you've done in any, any search that you put into it, you know, back to your IP address. But, but, um, but, but, but let's look at this way. Different. You got a girlfriend and you're married, right? So you sneak mm-hmm. once a month down to uh, uh, the TP motel, right? And you use yeah. your, you use your master card, you know, to pay for your room, right? And and you buy her mm-hmm. some nice lingerie at some sex shop, right? And and some mm-hmm. whatever, right? Now yeah. that inf- that information now is sold to Google, right? So now you got a a, a computer that's shared by the family, right? And all mm-hmm. of a sudden, all of a sudden, your wife is using the computer paying bills and. This TP motel comes up, you know, with a special for Saturday nights. And, <laughs> okay? Or some local, you know, sex shop for toys all of a sudden appears on mm-hmm. the computer while she's using it. Now, she's going to wonder what is going on. So, I mean, hey, guys, you know, better clean up your act really quick. If not, if you don't want to clean up your act, don't use MasterCard. It'll keep you honest, or if you're lucky on the upside, she'll see, you know, the lingerie ad, and then see the hotel ad, and then she'll get an idea of her own and want to want to drag you out there. So, um, or then, or she better yet, she'll get an idea and drag one of the office workers that she works with out to there. <laughs> well, at, at that point, it's just time to talk about an open relationship. I think. <laughs> yeah, or a, a closed one when she walks out. <laughs> There's that as well. Exactly. Well, it seems I, I, like there might be other 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 issues at play yeah. as well as Mastercard's um, uh, not so cool move to sell out everybody's information. You know, getting back to making th- these movies and stuff. You know, I remember yeah. th- that uh, at one point Vincent Price they wanted him yeah. to make this one movie, uh, but it, the, they wanted it done really fast. It, they the, the producer, the director wanted to do it in color. And Vincent Price said, no, I want to do these two movies. Let's do it in black and white. Uh, because it was cheaper, naturally, to do it in black and white you know, than color. So he managed to crank out two movies for the price of one. And, you know, I still think, I still think that. And we lost the line again. 
I okay, Google. I apologize. That I, that could probably be it. Could it? I don't know. You know, Google. You know, uh, yeah. I have no idea anymore. Well, let's try get him back on again. This is interesting. Now, maybe we should talk about more conspiracies. I got to learn to keep my big mouth shut because anytime I start talking like MasterCard or I start talking about Google or Microsoft, this is what happens. But I got to warn you guys, be careful with your your uh, your credit cards because you, you don't know what's going to, you know, besides getting out. You have reached Fitzgerald's realm of magic. Uh-oh. Not leaving a message is horribly true. Okay, we'll give them maybe a second here to recycle. But it is scary out there because what can happen? I mean, with your credit cards, you have to worry about your credit information being on the dark realm or the dark web, I should say. I'm sorry about the dark realm. But the dark web, now you got to worry about where you spend your darn uh, credit cards at. I don't know. Let's try again here. I, I think I broke the record here tonight of Phone drops. Well, let's see what happens here. They say the fifth is a charm. A charm of what? I really don't know. Okay, well, I hope everybody's having a good night. Tomorrow's Friday, scary Friday night. The last half an hour of the show, you can call in and tell us. Realm of magic, get, not I wonder if his phone is horribly tragic. Your name and your number is one. Gee, I wonder if his phone went dead. The cell phone. Anyway, you know, uh, tomorrow you can call us at after nine thirty at one two five three two zero three six six nine five. That's one two five three two zero three six six nine five. You can certainly call us, tell us a scary story, and maybe you'll want to. A nice gift from Night Dreams Talk Radio. Let's try again. Boy, I got to learn not to say certain things over the uh, internet, huh? Oh, well. Such is life. By the way, my diet is killing me. Now, yeah, let's hope it goes through this time. If not, you'll have to hear me talk to myself. That could be rather interesting. Now, also this Saturday, Michael W. Hall. You have reached Fitzgerald's realm of magic. Uh-oh. Not leaving a message is horribly tragic. Your name. It's not going through. Anyway, this Saturday, uh, Michael W. Hall, the paranormal lawyer, uh, will not be on the Saturday. We're going to have one of his replays, but he'll be back on, well, the following Saturday uh, from 7 to 10 p.m. with some great guests, naturally in the paranormal. Uh, also, they went to Mount St. Uh, Adams here a couple weeks back. They got some really interesting interesting uh, videos and, and pictures of, well, things up in the sky that shouldn't be. Doing some strange, strange things. Well, let's see what's, what's going on if we get them back. This is getting rather interesting here. But anyway... Uh, the weather here up in Gig Harbor, yeah, well, it didn't rain all day today, but I can tell you summer is long gone. But I'll tell you, I'd rather live here right now than on the East Coast. I don't know how many of the listeners out there are from the uh, East Coast. You have reached Fitzgerald's okay, it's realm not going magic, through. not leaving a message is horribly tragic. Your name and your number is what... I got a funny feeling, maybe. Okay, I got, I'm getting the message. Okay, let's see. Okay, he's trying to get his phone. It, it totally crashed. He's trying to get his phone going. And, uh, well, let's see what happens. I'm going to play a little bit of music here for a minute while we try to sort this out here. Yeah. 
He will be right back on in about a minute or two. Night Dreams, Scary Story Night, on Friday nights. Call in at 9.30 p.m. Pacific at 1-253-203-6695. You're listening to my friend Gary Anderson on Night Dreams Talk Radio, the best in paranormal radio. Well, here I am again. Uh, he will, Ron will be calling us back here in a minute as phone, uh, cell phone crashed and I think his battery went dead. So he's charging it here for a minute and then we should have him back on. Wow. <laughs> what can I say? Things about talk radio, you know, compared to even, you know, being in a studio doing a live broadcast. I mean, you know, we have to rely on things such as our telephone lines, our cell phone lines, and even Skype. And, you know, Skype sometimes, you know, depending on what we're talking about, it has a tendency of dropping you just out of a clear blue moon. You know, uh, coming up here, um, I might tell you some people uh, what's coming up here. Let me grab my my logbook here. Coming up here shortly with guests. We got some great guests coming on Night Dreams Talk Radio. Uh, we have, well, if you're into conspiracies, we have uh, Mr. Phillips on on the 27th, the 28th. We got uh, Ron Farnham uh, back on. We're going to be having a lot of people talking about UFOs. We got uh, Jason Boyd, Boyd uh, on. Uh, he does and collects uh, horror masks, of, you know, like horror from horror movies. So he's going to be on for two hours on the 21st, and we're going to be talking about collecting horror masks and what you should be looking for and what you shouldn't be looking for. Certainly, you know, some of these ones out of China, are the quality is not there. Uh, the prices that if you want to get into collecting horror masks, you know, 